All right. Kenny Galladay up next uh, of the Lions, of course, and no Golden Tate. So that's a, a pretty obvious one, right, Jim? Yeah, I think that Golden Tate is a big boost to Kenny Galladay because it, it should funnel more targets out towards Kenny Galladay. Galladay has run some routes in the slot this year, and I think that that could go up with Golden Tate out of town. And that would lead you to believe that, you know, people know that Golden Tate got traded and it could make you think, hey, isn't Kenny Galladay going to be pretty popular on this slate? And that's possible. Uh, if you look at his fan share tags, uh, which I, was where I go to try to gauge ownership on different players, he is pretty high on the list right now. But at the end of the day, when people go to Kenny Galladay's player cards, see what he's done recently, to try to investigate, should I use this guy? They are still going to see the three targets he has had total in the past two games combined. That is not going to make everybody avoid Kenny Galladay, but it means that some people who would otherwise use him due to the Golden Tate trade are going to wind up looking elsewhere. And to me, that says that I really want to get Kenny Galladay in there again. He should be running for some routes from the slot for this week. He was doing so even when Golden Tate was there. That should amp up now with Golden Tate gone. And he's had a 25% target market share this year with Golden Tate off the field, according to the Quant Edges injury tool. So it's not a great matchup against Minnesota uh, because they do have a guy like Xavier Rhodes, who is very good, but he is banged up right now. This Vikings defense has been exploitable through the slot, and it's a pretty decent game where the Lions may need to throw quite a bit. So to me, I think Kenny Galladay makes a lot of sense. He's pretty cheap at $6,200. I'm hoping people will avoid him due to the couple of duds he has had recently, even though his situation has gotten much better with the Golden Tate trade. So to me, back on the Galladay train, back on the Njoku train, uh, it could burn me, and I, I mm. want to acknowledge that. But I think at the end of the day, they do make sense to go back to for week number nine. Well, because of the shakiness, as you mentioned, it might scare some other people away. And if he's lower owned and it does pay off to use him, then you're in good shape with Kenny Galladay.